Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome, welcome to a, an amazing, beautiful 30th of April. Today is Tuesday. It's supposed to be near 70 or 70. If it's near 70, it always goes over. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. What the heck's going on here? Climb bag, climb helmet, shoey helmet, dealer tag? Hmm. Oh. Got our deer crossing. <laughs> Lovely. Sorry to bounce out on you guys and not say goodbye like we normally do out there on the side of the road, but I got interrupted by somebody. Um, this is my first acquisition of the day. This is the running in service on a 2018 RT Limited. Cool. Anyway, let me get a first service knocked out here. So, you guys know uh, Matt and Bruce, the father and son team that I just did the the what took forever the uh, 28k on the f3t well this is his dad's and uh we put some tires on this thing late last year and he says uh he's got the the classic wobble every once in a while you get a a tire that's funky but man uh, I gotta say I'm not feeling anything unusual here at all. Maybe I need to ride this thing a little a little further or something. Oh, now I'm starting to feel it. You gotta look and see which, which fender's shaking the most. See if we get some extra speed here. Man, it's hard to tell exactly which. I think I'm feeling it more on the right. That's good, lady, to brake check a semi-truck. She's texting. Oh, my lord. Yeah, he must be really sensitive because that is uh, really gradual. Uh, I feel a lot of spiders that are that are worse than this, but... Uh, you know, now I say that, I, I can actually feel it, like, shaking. Well, hello there, SV peeps. Let's take a test ride on a K1600B. How about that? But this isn't going to be just any test ride. This is going to be a long test ride. We're going to take this bad boy home. I thought it only had like a hundred miles to go. <laughs> so I go out there and I boot, boot the key up on it. And uh, to my horror, it only has 100 miles on it, 129, no, 121, holy moly, I don't know if that's trip, no, that's miles, 121, so uh, we'll be riding it for a bit here, <laughs> so I tell the GM, I says, it don't have 100 miles to go, it has 100 miles on it. He goes, eh, 100 on it, 100 to go. He goes, just take the long way home. <laughs> I said, yeah, buddy. So we finally get to spend, spend a little time on a K1600B. <sighs> I don't have my transition shield for my shoey no more. And that thing worked exactly like this climb shield and that was really really nice i like these <laughs> i like them transitions a lot so i took that woodland exit it's the same exit we take to uh go to uh walmart and i'm gonna go over a green mountain man i had to get off that freeway well, anyway let's go up here in uh see how this thing handles on a little bit of back road stuff they feel nimble enough it'll take me a little bit to to trust it tires don't have many miles on them i 
I, I feel timid on it. Not the, the bike size. It just it just handles so different than literally anything. It you know I, I know they're notorious for handling good. It just feels just a little a little timid to me. It's not doing anything weird. It's just it just doesn't have a predictable feel to me yet. end of the roll I'm afraid we didn't call ourselves a PS and this is a really cool turn through here too nice switch back but we're on fresh tires oh yeah that's a nice pull that's an impressive pull yeah she's not doing she's not doing anything weird there's nothing to be afraid of here Oh, that power is so nice. The compression braking, oh, it's just so sweet. I think it's, whoa, I love that in a motorcycle. And this has got one of BMW's, what they refer to as a slipper gripper clutch. She'll slip on a heavy D cell so you don't get wheel hop or well, minimize it anyway. And the, if you ever, you know, it's hydraulic, so they feel real soft anyway, but the clutch is really smooth and soft because it only has three little clutch springs. Because the same function, it works in reverse and it grips, it's on ramps. The more pressure you apply, the more it bites the clutch. So it allows for this amazingly smooth clutch feel. Like unusual, it's like, your first thought was this thing slipped like crazy. Boy, she don't slip at all. And it's a big clutch too. I've had a couple of these out in school. Oh man, you just pick a gear and just you're on and off and the acceleration pulls you and the compression braking woos you up. Super impressive. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. And that just looks so far away in a GoPro. That's a shame. Whoa, this thing's like an R19. You let go of the throttle, you're stopping. Let's go ahead and get her in sixth gear and let her have some float time. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. says motorcycles use extreme extreme caution another little gravel patch right here man you know I talk about smell-o-vision we need to have oh yeah we need to have torque vision so that you can sit down in your seat and feel the unbelievable pull of this thing take a chance and check out the old BMW railroad crossing oh there's something coming let's see if we get this big old beast turned around here you know I don't know just how fun oh yeah Getting this big old guy on gravel and thinking that front tire might just dig in and create a problem. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's an Amtrak. Oh, that is too cool. All right, let's get the old Beamer in here. Gotta have a Beamer and an Amtrak. Yeah, buddy.
Oh, look at the old-fashioned car at the end of it. Look at that. One thing about it, it's heck for good looking. She's all black and just angry looking. Let's go play some. What is that standing on the side of the track there? Please tell me that's just a deer or an elk or something. Holy moly, that thing looks awfully big. There's no way you guys can see that. That's got to be an elk. That thing's huge. At this distance, that thing's big enough. It's got to be an elk. That thing probably looking at me and saying, I ain't moving. What if that's like a huge wolf or something? He's just... He's just eyeballing me. Ooh, the member glasses, I really seem good. He's probably sitting there looking at me and going, when he turns his back to get on that bike, he's mine. There's nobody around, it's all quiet. Let's just go and get that boy. Let's see what I can see down there. I can't tell from here where it was. I can see the tracks, I just can't. I think it's farther down where it's bending. Man, there's so much air flowing through my pants there, I thought I might have uh, left something open there. <laughs> you do that little casual check, you know? Nope, everything's all latched down. Whoa, down there, big gal, holy moly. thing almost sounds like it's got VTEC. The thing just takes on another sound. That sounds real good. Oh, what a peaceful, peaceful evening. That's kind of cheap with that cruise control. If I had me a backrest, I got, well, almost my backpack almost props against the back seat. I, I just sit back here. Oh. Y'all wake me up when we get home. One of the coolest things about BMW's cruise control, one mile an hour, two mile an hour, three mile an hour, one, two, three, four, five miles an hour down. It works so good. Literally the most impressive cruise control of any motorcycle. And watch how little I have to hit the clutch to turn it off. Love it. No tapping the brakes, rolling the throttle back, you know, the weird things you gotta do. Go roll on there, big hossie. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know if I can slip between that truck and that, that door and that fence. I'm just kind of thinking to myself, oh, nah. Thank you, sir. holding your breath I was holding mine I was shivering in my britches I thought because today is the day she's going to come tumbling down
This deserves a Superman flight. Old Dr. Pierce's barn right there. St. Helens poking her head over the hill. This is what Dr. Pierce's barn looks like from a K1600B. I don't know guys and gals. <laughs> the more time I'm spending on this thing, the more fun I'm having with it. And the fact that you can easily stand up on it is lovely. Love a bike that you can. Some of them you just wonky as heck when you stand up on it. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm rolling up the hill. Mama's probably already beat me. I've been out here goofing around. So, uh, welcome to K1600B for, I don't know, if I ride it back and forth for a couple days, I'll have the miles on this thing in no time. Woo! Stay out of my lane! But anyway, we're out. I'll talk to you here just a little bit. Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a gorgeous evening, even though it dropped almost five degrees just coming up the hill there That's it crazy. did it was 71 something then it was 66 i'm like Poo! yeah <laughs> but and i admit that i had way more fun on that 16b than i thought i would that uh that's a lot of fun that's cool one thing's got plenty of power though uh, just you just can't get over that that cool six cylinder sound and just the craziest amount of torque for an inline six but anyway, a lot of fun it's a good day today. Got spiders done. I work mostly on spiders. Got uh, uh, Bruce, you know, Matt and Bruce, his RT's got a vibration. We thought it was tires and um, <laughs> ended up with a brand new set of 2019 F3's with the same wheels on it and nothing changes. Not coming from the, it appears to be coming from the front wheels, but it's not. But uh, he's going to come back here in a little bit for a scheduled service and leave it so we, we have time to tinker with it find out what it is why it's Poor doing guy. what it's doing but um it, kind of, it feels like a you know vibration up front and you feel it through the bars but i don't know it's different you know no i've had spiders that the, you know the tires were bad or it's out of balance and it's a, it was a different feeling so anyway we'll sort that out very good but anyway that was a lot of fun on the k1600 i hope you guys enjoyed that and Yet again, caught another train. I'm loving this train stuff, boy. Oh, no I can't kidding. get enough of that. But on that, we're going to roll on out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll All see right. what tomorrow will bring. Yes. Thank you, guys. You guys <laughs> take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye.